praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear their love and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord of me. And let us exalt his name together. Is there anybody today who will magnify the Lord with me? Come on now. We truly have something to magnify our God for this morning. For unto us a child is born. Unto you a son is given, yes. and the government shall be upon his shoulder, yes. and his name shall be called Warren, yes. Counselor, yes. the Mighty God, yes. the Everlasting Father, yes. the Prince of Peace. So if you're in here and you're in your right mind, you ought to give God some praise. A Savior, which is Christ the Lord. How many came to worship God today? How many came to adore Him? The Bible says that everything that has prayer, praise ye the Lord. Is there anybody on this cold Christmas day who know that God is worthy of our praise? Come on in here, shout hallelujah. He is worthy. We ask that you will please remain standing at this time. We will ask the voices of praise to give us our opening selection. And please remember that we do not own the rights to any of the music that are played here today.
to be praised. Amen. Thank God for our choir singing so beautifully in our hearing this morning. Thank God for all of you who are here this morning. Amen. Who come to worship our Savior. Uh, I heard somebody say, wise men still seek him. Ain't God a wonderful God? Amen. This time we're going to ask Reverend Doris Roberts that she would come, amen, to give us our morning scripture after which, amen, uh, Dick and Danny Underwood will come and pray for us. Y'all can come on in. Amen. When you stand with Reverend Roberts as she prepares to read scripture. Good morning and Merry Christmas. How are you calling? Good morning. Good morning. I will be reading from John chapter 3, verses 14 through 17. John chapter 3, verses 14 through 17. And Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness. Even so must the Son of Man be lifted up, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, mm -hmm. but that the world through him yes. might be saved. Hallelujah. God bless you. Amen. Thank you, God. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Merry Christmas. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. <coughs> Let every heart pray. Amen. Dear Heavenly Father, we come before you, God, just to give you thanks. Yes. Thank you. Give you praise. Thank you, God. And just to think on your glory. Yes. Think on your grace. Yes. Think on the mercy yes. that you have just provided for us. Yes. Oh, yes. the Father, we just look back over the year and God, we see all the wonderful things that you have done. And God, we can only give you credit. Oh God, because you are mighty God. And God, we look to you for everything. Oh God, in our sickness or in our being well. God, in our good times, in our bad times, in our ups and in our downs. We look to you, God, because we know that you are our wonderful. Yes. Wonderful, yes. gracious, yes. precious yes. Lord and Savior. Yes. Hallelujah. We thank you, God. Oh, God, for providing Jesus. Mm. Oh, Heavenly Father, we thank you for him. Oh, Heavenly Father, as we see all of the good works, your hand of works, we still want to give you praise and honor. Oh, Heavenly Father, we ask you to forgive us of our sins that we have committed against you, God. Oh, God, and the, one of the sins is just forgetting to recognize who you are. Oh, God, and we understand and we're going to do better in the, in the years to come. We hope that you will stand by us, give us help that we need in this time of need. Oh, God, we just thank you. Thank you for all that you are. Bless those who are sick among us. Oh, Heavenly Father, bless those who are not here that are sick among us. But God, give, we ask you to uh, bless the ones who are here. Yeah. Oh, having a father who had the, uh, the, the pleasure, the, the want, the drive, just to come out to the house of worship on this day. Oh, having a father, so many had other reasons, other excuses. Oh, God, but we look to you, and today, our real day, we are here. And we thank you. Thank you for giving us the help and the strength just to make it here. Oh, Heavenly Father, we walk in. Didn't see anybody coming in on the wheelchair. Oh, Heavenly Father, we thank you. We thank you just giving us the power and the do it to come out to the house of worship. 
we love you, Lord, for all that you do. All that you do for us. We cannot do anything without you. And we just continue to praise your holy name. In the precious name of Jesus, we pray. Oh, Heavenly Father, I forgot to ask you to bless our pastor. Can't forget to do that. Continue to be with him. Let the word come forth today like it's never come before. Oh, Heavenly Father, let him know that you are there with you all the time. Oh, Heavenly Father, bless the pulpit stand. Touch them. Let them know that you are with them as well. And God will just continue to praise your name. We can't stop praising your name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, your word. We can't stop praising your name. And God, give us the strength to endure, oh, heaven and Father, until you call us home one day. In the precious name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Church, say amen. amen. It's going to be through thank God for the scripture and for the prayer. Amen. Amen. We're grateful. Amen. Yes. You pray with us. Amen. Right, now, by way of announcements, on January the 15th, 2023, the annual Dr. M. L. King Jr. service, which commemorates the life of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., will resume at High Calling Baptist Church at 3 o'clock p.m. with Pastor Daquan Deans and the Bethel United Holy Church of Kenley, North Carolina. Yeah. We are asking all members to please attend. Amen. Amen. Also, the Higher Calling Singles Ministry will meet Saturday, January 21st, 2023. Amen. Amen. I do not have any time. I think it's at 1. 1 o'clock. The singles ministry will meet at 1 o'clock on Saturday, January 21. The Higher Calling Baptist Church will return to full worship service beginning next week, first Sunday, Amen. January 1st, 2023. All members are encouraged to attend church in the sanctuary. However, for those who are unable to attend, we will continue to air the sermon on Facebook Live, but it will be at around 11.45. Amen? Amen. Amen. Now, let me say this. We are so grateful to all of our members, our visitors, and Facebook followers, who have supported us through uh, the pandemic. 
Amen. We went through this thing together, y'all. Amen. Amen. And we are happy that you chose to worship with us. And we would like to thank you and say God bless you to every one of you. Amen. Finally, keep in mind that next Sunday is Communion Sunday. Amen. Amen. Please wear your black attire if you can. If you cannot, then please know that the Lord ain't looking at what you wear. Amen. 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 Now it is giving time. Oh. And if you would like to give to our ministry, please mail your offering to Higher Calling Baptist Church, 4036 Ward Boulevard, Wilson, North Carolina, 27893. You may also use our website to give which is www.hcbcwilsonc.com. Amen? Amen. Please note that our financial team will be here, amen, until 1 o'clock today. If you're in the sanctuary, please, amen, leave your offering with them as you exit the sanctuary. Amen? If you have your tithe in your hand, would you lift it and repeat after me? Holy Father, I bring my tithe into the storehouse in obedience to your command. I give it freely, honestly, and without reservation. And I thank you, Father, by opening the windows of heaven and pouring out a blessing for me and my family. I thank you, Father, for providing me with all I need. I thank you for rebuking the devourer for my sake. I thank you that his hands are tied concerning my money. I thank you that I'm whole, that I'm free, and that I am blessed. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. Amen. Amen. And this time, we ask that you please remember, please remember to pray for our sick. Let me ask you in particular to pray for our brother, Tony Langston. Amen. He has COVID. Amen. In that facility that he's in in Roanoke, uh, Virginia. So please keep him lifted in prayer. I know he's looking at us this very moment. Yeah. Amen. Good morning, Tony. Amen. Amen. Voices of praise are going to come now to minister in song. Amen. After which we will come back with the word of God. Amen. <clears throat> <clears throat>
singing beautifully this morning. Amen. Not only are they singing beautifully, they look beautiful. Amen. Amen. To God be the glory. Amen. Certainly we do give honor to, to our God once again. Amen. For he is the head of our lives. Amen. We are so grateful this morning just to be alive. Amen. And in the house of God on this Christmas day. Amen. Amen. I love that scripture when it says, For unto you is born this day. Amen. I mean, he was born unto me. Amen. And God take it personal. Amen. He's my Savior. Amen. To God be the glory. Amen. And I depend on him. And I'm grateful for him on today. We do give honor. Amen. To these ministers of the gospel who are with us in the pulpit today. Thank God for. Uh, Reverend Doris Roberts, who read our scripture this morning. Amen. We thank God for her. Reverend uh, Lefus Whitley is here with us today. Amen. We thank God for his presence. Our adjutant is here. Amen. Reverend James Gill. Amen. We thank God for him. Amen. Reverend uh, Sherry Curry. Amen. It, Reverend Sherry Jenkins. Amen. Is uh, on vacation. Amen. Out of the state. Amen. We thank God for. Amen. We thank, also thank God for Reverend Valerie Jones. Amen. amen. Who is on vacation as well. Amen. Can the church say amen? amen. And I must thank God for my whole bowl of sugar. Amen. Thank God for her. And we thank God for you praying for her. Amen. Amen. She is still in need of your prayers. Amen. And we thank God for her in a very, very special way. Amen. She is a trooper. Amen. 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 And Jonathan had us a to tour with this baby, but, <laughs> <laughs> but we thank God for her. Amen. Amen. There's a word from the Lord today. Amen. We're not going to be long. If I say the Lord. Amen. I know y'all got some calls you want to get to, so do I. <laughs> Amen. St. John, chapter 3. Um, verse 16. And also 2 Corinthians, chapter 9. Amen. Amen.
Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you now for your word. For your word is right, it's right right by itself. We thank you, God, for giving us your word. We thank you for giving us your son, who is the word. Now, God, as we prepare, oh God, to preach your word, we ask, oh God, for an anointing specifically for this assignment. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, have your way. Oh God, you give us what you want us to have today. Oh God, and help us to receive it in Jesus' name. Bind the enemy today. And anything that will hinder your word from coming forth, bind it in the name of Jesus. But loosen your anointing, loosen your glory in this house. We'll be careful to give you the praise. In Jesus' name. Amen. <clears throat> Scripture reads in St. John. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes on him shall not perish but have everlasting life. 2 Corinthians 9 and 15. It reads, thanks be unto God for his unspeakable gift. I'm going to stop right there, y'all. Turn to your neighbors and neighbor. Oh, neighbor. I thank God for his unspeakable gift. Amen. God bless you. You may be seated in the house of God. Very briefly today, if the Lord says so, I want to use for a thought God's gift to us. Amen. <clears throat> the Danish Norwegian author Sigrid Kunset wrote, and when we give each other Christmas gifts in his name, let us remember that he has given us the sun and the moon mm -hmm. and the stars yes. and the earth with its forests yes. and mountains and oceans yes. and all that lives and move upon them. Mm -hmm. He has given us all green things and everything that blossoms and bears fruit, and all that we quarrel about, and all that we have misused, and to save us from our foolishness and from all our sins, he came down to earth and gave us himself. <clears throat> God's gift. To us is God himself Amen. in the person of Jesus the Christ. Amen. 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 The most precious of any gift that any one of us could receive on this Christmas day or on any day is God's gift to us. Amen. Y'all going to pray with me? Now, I am sure that this Christmas morning, many of us, both children and adults, have opened at least one gift. Mm -hmm. Bless your heart. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I said many of us. I didn't say, I didn't say all of us. But most of us know that it is not the gift, but the fault Amen. that counts. Amen. Am I right about it? Amen. But I imagine that some gifts make the receiver wonder what the giver was even thinking. <laughs> to have given that particular gift. Are y'all in here? 
Patricia and I was talking with my brother Thomas the other day about giving Christmas gifts when we were young, when we were growing up in pine tops. Now you gotta understand that my brother Thomas is somewhat of a character. <laughs> Amen. But he gave a gift every year. Amen. And if you got a gift from Tom, there really was no telling what you were going to get. It might be some plastic spoon. <laughs> it might be six of those little cups that used to come. You know. You might get some old maid cards. <laughs> it just wasn't easy telling what it might be if you got it from Tom. And those kind of gifts would make you wonder, what is Tom thinking about? <laughs> he said, nobody there, y'all. <laughs> He's looking at me too. <laughs> but I'm going to know today that God is the giver of every good and perfect gift. And God's Christmas gift to us is as perfect as it is unspeakable. It is the one gift that everybody needs. And it is appropriate for every age or every gender, every race or creed. Everybody needs God's gift. Amen. It is the gift that God himself gave. Amen. For the Bible says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes on him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Are you in here? Jesus, the one gift that is absolutely perfect. Yeah, Jesus, the most precious gift, the most fitting, the most wonderful gift that can be given or received. Jesus, God's gift to the world. Jesus, the one that this whole season is all about. For well, on Christmas Day, our celebration, amen, is for the fact that God gave us his most precious gift. Amen. God gave us himself yes. in the person of his son. Yes. And through our faith in the son of God, we can be forgiven of our sins and have eternal life through him. But oh, wait a minute, I don't want to be long. I just want to show you something from the Corinthian text. And I'm going to let you go home. Is that all right? Okay. Second Corinthians chapter 9. Apostle Paul starts out, if you read this whole chapter, he starts out talking about human gifts. Mm -hmm. You see, the church at Corinth had been taking up offering to give to the poor in Jerusalem. And Paul was commending them for their great desire and their eagerness to help those folk in their time of need. Amen. But Paul was also reminding them that those who sow sparingly would also reap sparingly. While those who sow generously would also reap generously. You know, no, I'm not going to get into that today. But let me just say, we all should consider those truths and live accordingly. Amen? Yeah. But then, Paul starts then to shift his attention away from human gifts. And he starts talking about God's gift to the world in sending his only begotten son to planet earth for us. And somehow, when Paul started talking about Jesus, this 
great teacher, this great scholar, this great mouthpiece for God could not find the right words to describe just how awesome God's gift to us really is. So Paul simply said, thanks be unto God for his unspeakable gift. Amen. Are you in this house? Amen. Now, now, the Greek word here translated as unspeakable literally means inexpressible. Amen. It means indescribable. It has the idea of something that is too hard to describe in human language. In other words, God in Jesus has done something that is beyond any human's ability to fully comprehend or to fully understand. And since we cannot fully understand it, then certainly we cannot fully express it. Are you in here? You see, how can anybody fully and properly describe the Word of God becoming flesh? What words do we have in our language that can do God justice? How do you properly express a baby being born of a virgin? How can you adequately express God himself, the creator of the world, becoming like the created thing, walking among men, <clears throat> and reaching out to the lost and hurting folk of the world. Yeah. But that's God's gift to us. Yeah. Isaiah said he would be called Emmanuel, yeah. which means God with us. But how can you fully describe that which is spirit when all we've ever known is that which is physical or material? Yeah. How do you describe the one who is omniscient, one who possesses unlimited knowledge, when all the knowledge that we possess is so limited. Yeah, yeah. The Apostle Paul simply said, thanks be unto God for his unspeakable gift. Oh, beloved, that's God's gift to you and I. Yeah. No human words can fully describe our gift. Yeah. Amen. For he is very God of very God. Yes. He is perfect in the Godhead. And he is also perfect in humanity. Yes. And we cannot fully describe him. But he is God's gift to us. Yes. Ain't God a good God? Yes. He is God. But he was also a man. Yes. And the Bible says that our gift, amen, that he being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation, took upon him the form of a servant, and being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. I'm talking about God's gift to us. He is truly indescribable. His knowledge is too wonderful for us. His wisdom is too deep. His judgments are unsearchable. His thoughts are past finding out. And he is God's gift to us. I don't know about you, but my gift has been so good to me that I just can't tell it all. And when I try to tell it, my words fall short. My words are inadequate. So I have to say like Paul, thanks be to God for his unspeakable gift. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm going I'm to I'm close now. But, but there's something else about God's gift uh -huh. 
Can you give me about five more minutes? Yeah. Oh, take your time. Yeah. I love when you say that. Amen. <laughs> God's gift. Listen, it's not only unspeakable, but it's also very generous. Paul said, thanks be unto God for his unspeakable gift. Amen. Now, now, we all know what the word gift means. Uh -huh. I mean, in fact, I am sure that that four-letter word put a smile on a whole lot of folks' face this very morning. Amen. 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 But how many know that in this particular instance, yeah. the word gift actually means free gift? Uh -huh. Amen. 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 In other words, in other words, God's gift is given completely by God's grace. It is without regard to the receiver's work. What I'm saying is, you don't have to be a rich man to get God's gift. You don't have to be highly educated. You don't have to be of high social standing. Yes. God's gift is a free gift yes. to all who would receive yes. him. Yes. Are you in here with me? Yes. Only God can give a gift like that. Uh -huh. Because only the mind of God could think of a gift like that. Yes. And God's gift to us has eternal value and unconceivable worth. And the only way you can obtain God's gift is by freely receiving it from the hand of God. I got to hear y'all. But there are a whole lot of folk who never see the value in the free gift. Amen. Lord have mercy. Yeah. Amen. Yeah, they heard that God so loved the world that he gave us Jesus. And yeah, they are quick to say at Christmas, that Jesus is the reason for the season. Uh -huh. mm, but they don't see the awesome value that is in this free gift. Uh -huh. Amen. They don't see the real worth of Jesus. Good God Almighty. What I'm saying here is so many folk never see Jesus as the mighty God. As the everlasting Father. Or the Prince of Peace. In fact, they don't see him as anything special at all. So they look past the Christ. And they go after the glitz and the glamour of the Christmas season. They don't want the Savior. They just want the trappings and the gifts and the parties. Amen. But I came to tell you today that God's gift to us is an invaluable gift because He forgives us. Yeah, ain't He a good God? His gift saves us. He delivers us. He heals us. And His work is unspeakable. He instructs us, corrects us, molds, shapes, and makes us. His work is unspeakable. He provides for us. He protects us. He gives us strength when we're weak. His work is unspeakable. He opened doors for us. He makes ways for us. He prepared a place for us in his father's kingdom and one day he's coming back for us and i don't know about you but just to know him is worth more to me than anything in this world is there anybody in higher calling today who ain't too ashamed to say thanks be to god for his unspeakable gift. I got a cold, but before I sit down, I need to tell somebody that God's gift has got to be received. Yeah. Now understand 
that his guilt is available to everybody. But God doesn't force um, his gift uh, on anybody. You got to receive him uh, for yourself. Uh, you got to make a personal decision to receive Jesus as your Savior. For the Bible says, but as many as receive him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. It didn't say all who heard about him will become sons of God. It did not say that all who tried to be good or all who went to church, but it said, but as many as received him, that them gave me power to become the son of God. I'm going to my seat, but what that says to me, beloved, is you can't earn this gift of God. You cannot buy God's gift. You can't steal it. You can't take it by force. The only thing you can do is you can receive it as God's gift to you. Ain't God a good God? You can accept Him as your personal Savior. And if you accept Him, and in the book of Revelation says in chapter 3, Jesus said, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice, open up the door, I will come in to him. And I will sup with him. And he with me. And beloved, listen, what better day than Christmas Day to start a new life with Jesus? Yes, yes. Or to renew your commitment to the Christ. Amen. Listen, John R. Rice, he said, you can never truly enjoy Christmas until you can look the Father in the face yes. and tell him that you have received yes. his Christmas gift. Amen. 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 Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for your word. And thank you for the assurance that you loved us so much that you gave us the best gift that we could ever want or ever receive. Yes. And you gave it to us on that first Christmas day so long ago. Yes. Help us on this day to receive the gift you gave us. Yes. And to allow your gift to change our hearts and our lives. Yes. Bless every hearer of your word today. Please save yes. such as will be saved. Yes, God. Continue as Emmanuel. Yes. God with us. Yes. We ask this in the strong name yes. of Yeshua. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. And amen. Amen. The doors of the church is open. Jesus is calling. He said, the day that you hear my voice, harden not your heart. Though your sins are as scarlet, I will wash you whiter than a snow. Beloved, if you're here today and you don't know Jesus in the pardon of your sins, I offer you Christ. He loves you. He loves you enough to go to the cross. Yes. And bear your sins on himself. Thank you, God. Will you come to make him the Lord of your life? Will there be one today? 
Maybe you're listening on Facebook and you want to give your life to the Lord today. Will you pray with me? Just say this simple prayer. Dear God, I am a sinner and I want to be saved. I believe in your son and I thank you for giving him to me. I believe that he was born of a virgin and I believe that he died the death of the cross and I believe that he rose again from the dead. I accept him into my heart. Save me now. In Jesus name. Amen. Beloved, if you said that prayer, you are now saved and a member of the family of God. I welcome you to the family of God. If you'd like to be a part of Higher Calling, please contact us through this Facebook page. Maybe you're here today and you're already saved, but you don't have a church home. I offer you Higher Calling for today. Will you come and make Higher Calling your church home? Please listen to our choir as you think about what God has spoken to you today. In the shape that you read The part of wolves to put you back together again Oh, the part of wolves to put you back together Your situation has turned upside down, and all that you accomplished is now on the ground. You don't have to stay in the shade that you're in.
and renew his vow with Christ on today. Yeah. Amen. Also, amen, Brother Robert uh, Blackson said that he wanted to join this church. Oh. Hallelujah. 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 Bless the Lord for that on today. Amen. Let the church say amen. Let the church say amen again. Now I know this brother. Amen. I've been going over to his house and been talking to him on the phone. This brother, amen, has been coming to higher calling. Amen. And you know what? And I hope you don't mind me saying that I have seen him wrestling with himself. Amen. I've seen God moving in his life. Amen. And I thank God that God loves us so much. That he would take that kind of time for us. Amen. That's what kind of God we serve. Amen. Come on, guys, think up. I, I, I seen some of us. Amen. If you don't get yourself straightened out with me in just a few days, I'm gonna leave you alone. That's how some of us is. But God got time to minister to us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And this is just, this is one of the most sincere brothers I have ever seen. And he means what he says. Amen. And he thinks about what he is doing. I know he's been asking God some questions, boy. But we thank God because God welcomes all questions. Welcome home, Brother Black. Welcome home, God bless you. Now, this brother, this brother has come, amen, seeking membership at High Calling Baptist Church. Amen. As our custom is, amen, we're going to receive him. Amen. You do not vote for members. Amen. amen. I, I don't recall Jesus ever doing that. Amen. Baptists ought to throw that out the window. Amen. amen. But we're going to receive him yes. by the word, amen. 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 God bless you, brother. You got something you want to say? your salad, your cops, your fried chicken. Amen. <clears throat> Let me just say this. Uh, prayer meet is Wednesday night. Amen. I will not be able to do prayer meet this week. I will be having some surgery Tuesday. And say that so that you can pray. Amen. Amen. Let me say that again. Cause I said Amen. that so that you can pray. Yes. Not so that you can worry. Amen. Because I am not worried. Yes. Matter of fact, I ain't here to be preaching next Sunday morning. Amen. 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 <laughs> Thank 
thank you to all our visitors, amen. We're going to take this visit with us today. Merry Christmas to all of you. Please be safe and enjoy your family. Listen, before we go, please keep standing up. I'm going to ask our Sister Ann to sing uh, Oh Holy Night for us, if you will. Amen. Don't sing three verses of it. I'm just saying one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, holy night, the stars are brightly shining. It is the night of our dear Savior's birth. Long lay the world and sin and narrow pining till he appears and the soul felt his word. How thrill of hope the shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. We ask this in Jesus' name of the church. Say amen. 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 You are dismissed.